space, the final frontier. These are the photos of the Nanaimo Astronomy Society, and they really put into perspective just how vast our universe really is. There's always the question of what is out there, why are we here, uh, how long are we going to be here for, uh, is there anything beyond what we can see. The more answers we get, the uh, more questions come up. And that's how the society came to be nearly 40 years ago. It is a club that is a combination of amateur and professional astronomers that have uh, like-minded interests and uh, we share the same goals in, uh, in bringing uh, uh, astronomy uh, to the public in as many ways as possible and outreach is, is uh, very important for us. As a part of the society's outreach, they make themselves available to organizations wanting to host an astronomy session. Here at Moorcroft Camp, youth are delving into space with a visual Q&A, and then stepping out into the night for an eyes-on look at the sky. The moon moves out of the view pretty fast. Oh, I see. I really like the, uh, the aftermath of when we went, went outside and looked at the uh, moon and the, the stars around the moon and, the, and Saturn and Venus. And that was pretty cool. I learned a lot about uh, Canadian history and science, technology, and how we're actually really good in robotics. You want to teach everything you can to the next generation as soon as possible. Uh, the earlier, the better uh, to, to build that interest. And for Rich, building that interest is a part of his family life as well, as his son Kai loves to get involved. Hello, my name is Dr. Kai. Thank you. He's been uh, subjected to uh, astronomy ever since he was born. In fact, I think he was three months old when we brought him to uh, the first star party uh, of his life. Later on, when it, when it does build into um, hopefully uh, an interest in, in turning it into real science, then uh, we'll encourage him every step of the way. For junior scientists such as Kai, and for all members of the society, access to the club's small observatory and research-grade telescopes is a definite perk to membership. Through the telescopes, that's a huge part of it. That's uh, the grassroots part, and uh, people are amazed, especially when you look uh, at uh, something like uh, Saturn and its rings um, through a telescope for the very first time. That, in fact, that was my the first object that I looked at, and it got me hooked. For more about the Nanaimo Astronomy Society, visit the web. For Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.